Hi, my name is Dr. Fishman. I'm the CEO of CanFight Biopharma, and I would like to brief you today about the company profile and our progress during the last couple of months. So CanFight is a biopharmaceutical Israeli company based near a Tel Aviv. We develop small molecule orally bioavailable drugs for the treatment of psoriasis, devastating skin disease, and for the treatment of liver diseases. One is for advanced liver cancer, and the other one is for the treatment of mesh. We develop these small molecules which target a cell surface receptor which can be found only on pathological but not on normal body cells. So when our drug will get into the body, they will go and attack only the diseased cells and will spare the normal body cells. As of today, we have already dosed, treated more than 2,000 patients with an excellent safety profile due to the platform technology. So the first drug candidate that we are developing is Piclidenozone. This is the name of the drug. And we just recently concluded uh, the first phase three clinical study, which has been a global study. And we successfully concluded it. We uh, made both the primary and the secondary endpoints. And the drug showed an excellent uh, safety profile. Although today there are many drugs on the market for the treatment of psoriasis, we still think there is a huge market need since patients go from one a drug to another. Most of the drugs are biological drugs, which at the very beginning are doing a very good job, but then it deteriorates. And also there are many adverse events following uh, the treatment of patients with these biological drugs. As of our drug, we compared it to a Tesla, the cell gene or the Amgen drug. And uh, while we saw very similar efficacy, our safety profile was much better. And our drug is given twice daily, morning and evening, without bothering the patient to go to the outpatient clinic. So we think that we can position very nicely our psoriasis drug on the market. Currently, we are submitting a registration plan for both the EMA in Europe and the FDA in the United States, where we are going uh, to submit the protocol of the pivotal phase three clinical study that we still need to go for, and then all the other things which are needed in order to register this drug with each one of the regulatory authorities. Our second drug candidate is namodenosone. Namodenosone is also an orally bioavailable drug. Today, it is positioned for the treatment of liver indications since it is a very stable drug and is not degraded or metabolized by the liver. So the first indication is advanced liver cancer. To the best of our knowledge, Kenfet is the only company which developed a drug of this very advanced stage of the disease. It is defined as child PUB. And we are developing our second drug candidate. As I mentioned, it is orally and or also an orally bioavailable drug and very safe drug for this special population. We just uh, presented recently at the American Association of Liver Diseases a, a presentation which actually entailed a patient which uh, completely responded to our drug with the clearance of all metastases in her body. And this uh, patient today is completely clearance of all uh, metastases. Other patients in this study also, it was a phase two study, also responded to our drug with partial response or other way of responses. And based on the data, both the EMA and FDA approved a phase three study protocol, which we are initiating at these days. It will be a global study, and we hope that upon successful conclusion of this study, we will be able to register this drug also with the regulatory authorities in Europe and in the United States. Among the liver indications, we also have the NASH, which is a non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. It's accumulation of fat in the liver, not on the basis of alcohol consumption. 
we are currently conducting a phase two B clinical study, which is based on a positive data that we received during the phase two A study. And we hope that upon conclusion of this study, it will open for us the gate to go for a phase three clinical study and with a protocol that will be approved by the FDA and EMA. So in a nutshell, this is our clinical development regarding our business development. Our strategy is to license out because we know how to develop the drugs, how to register the drugs with the regulatory authorities, but we are not going to be the ones who will market the drug. So we have already signed seven different partnerships. And of course, we are looking for more partnerships. Hopefully these ones will come a, a bit a, down the road. We are now engaging with many partners who are showing lots uh, of interest in our technology. So we went over the clinical development, the business development uh, development. And if you are interested to see more and to learn more about our company, I'm inviting you to go to our website. Thank you very much.